the new ETS-6 Professional is here, and it is coming with a lot of improvements compared to the well-known and valued ETS-5. Now, the most recent KNX system extensions can be included in any KNX project thanks to the new ETS-6. The ETS user interface have been improved introducing a browser-alike user experience. The result? ETS-6 is ready for the current and future requirements of the KNX projects, however big or complex they are. Let's explore the major differences between the new ETS-5 and ETS-6. ETS-6 includes the use of the new segment couplers. The segment coupler is an extension of a media coupler that can connect line segments together, regardless of their medium type. These devices allow the system integrators to implement easier topology scaling and to extend existing projects with new devices supporting security or RF devices. And how was it done with ETS-5? The topology in ETS-5 was limited to the definition of complete lines and areas, and it was only possible to add repeaters or amplifiers within a TP line to allow the use of more than 64 devices on the same line. ETS-5 is therefore less flexible for the topology definition than the new ETS-6. The integration between KNX, TP and RF devices is much simpler in ETS-6. Now, using a KNX TP to RF segment coupler, all the devices can belong to the same single line in the topology. ETS-5 did not allow to include KNX TP and KNX RF system devices in the same topology line. Even for a simple installation with some TP devices, it was necessary to create one main TP line and define a second line for the KNX RF devices. One big system extension that is supported by ETS-6 Professional is the new generation of KNXRF devices. KNXRF Multi, the latest wireless protocol for KNX, is a very reliable and robust wireless protocol for building control applications. RF Multi devices come also with additional advantages, such as mandatory security support and a very easy configuration, since all the frequency settings are automatically set by ETS-6. In ETS-5, the KNX radio frequency medium was fully integrated into the project creation workflow. But it has been only possible to include KNX RF ready devices into an ETS project. The new KNX RF multi devices cannot be integrated in a KNX project using ETS-5. The last system extension that is supported by ETS-6 is the Secure Proxy. The Secure Proxy is again a coupler extension that allows plain devices to communicate with devices that operate securely. Therefore, this kind of devices becomes a perfect solution when retrofitting existing installations with secure devices without having to remove all the existing plain KNX devices and still having security on the newly added devices. Thanks to the new ETS-6 KNX IP Secure and KNX Data, Secure can be combined and freely integrated and configured with plain devices in a flexible way. ETS-5 was the first tool that allowed secure devices in KNX projects. But, for ETS-5, the data exchange between secure and plain group objects of these devices were not possible. ETS-5 was a first step in the KNX IoT strategy. Including new concepts like KNX Web Services, Extraction Level or Project Tags and Metadata. However, the information that could be included in a project was scarce. With the new ETS-6, we are welcoming the era of IoT by extending the semantic information which is appended to a project with standardized information provided by the specific KNX IoT working group. For this purpose, ETS-6 adds in the background semantic information related to locations, functions, function points, channels, group objects, etc., allowing KNX installations now to be even more open to the rest of the non-KNX world. One of the major improvements of ETS-6 is the window and panel handling enhancement. Nowadays, the use of internet browsers is more and more used to accomplish daily tasks. ETS-6 Professional approaches them introducing a browser-alike user experience. 
ETS 6 Professional can run in multiple window instances, opened at the same time, which can be very useful in case someone wants to check and compare data e.g., within a project, or between multiple projects. On other hand, in ETS 6 a tap can be maximized, which then creates a new tap within the same ETS 6 instance, and then it can be dragged out of that instance, creating thus a new ETS 6 instance. It can later be tracked and dropped back to its previous or another ETS 6 instance, and get embedded again in the original one. ETS 6 comes with an adaptive, and completely redesigned dashboard, where projects can be quickly clustered and sorted. A lot of additional metadata has been included, such as project cover picture, project type, project tags, project icons and so on. That facilitate the users to quickly find and access their projects. The ETS 5 dashboard did not include any graphical option to enrich the project information. On other hand, in ETS 5 it was not possible to open the dashboard at the same time of a workspace for editing a project. In ETS 6, browsing to a KNX project behaves like an internet browser. The project workplace has been redesigned, and back and forth navigation is included, with the possibility to go back and forth either by clicking the buttons in the window, by using the keyboard buttons, or even with the mouse buttons. For ETS 5 it was not possible to navigate back and forth in the project design. In large projects, the management of all the visible information in the item tree, or the selection panel of each window became complex. ETS 6 implements an optimized link with dialog to link group addresses much faster, supporting the bulk linking of group objects with group addresses. For ETS 5 there were two possible tabs in the link with dialog. Create new group addresses and use existing group addresses. It was recommended for user to know or remember the current group address structure for a fast work. ETS 6 comes with new licensing model, which supports cloud licensing additionally to the dongle-based licensing, with the possibility to even work offline for a couple of hours in case there is no internet connection available. To do so, ETS 6 connects to the user's MyKNX account to fetch any available and suitable license for the software. For ETS 5 the only way to have an active license was using a dongle. When a user forgot the KNX dongle, it was not possible to edit a project with more than 5 devices. Compared to ETS 5, the new ETS 6 helps to avoid missing any critical update. Every software update always comes with new features and bug corrections. Update notifications become prominent including feature and bug fix information prior to the installation. For the former ETS 5, this information was not announced for the different releases, so ETS users were not aware of the importance of these improvements. Now it is your time to take all the advantages of a new ETS 6.